You can only ramp up ventilator production if you've got the men and women to man the production lines. Some employees have taken the extraordinary decision to change from their day job, say an analyst, retrain and come onto the line to help with the demand. Others have been working here for over 20 years on the line. Pete Schweiker, he's one of them. Hey Pete. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Just tell me what you're doing there. Um, we're building the card cage for the R860 ventilator right here. This is the beginning stage of the process right here. How long have you been working at GE Healthcare? For 23 years. 23 years. And um, what about on the ventilator? Around line? six years. How does it feel to be working on a piece of equipment that is effectively at the forefront, the global forefront, of saving people's lives under the COVID-19 pandemic? It feels great. I mean, everybody's talking about ventilators and we actually get to build it. So it's a really good feeling coming in and building this product every day. It's just, it's, it's really changed a lot with the demand. It's changed a lot with all the extra people here helping us out. And in terms of training, have you been involved in helping people who are coming from those different roles? Have you been helping train them up? Yeah, yeah, we've been helping people when they come in for our shift and uh, they've been really great, really great to work with. Well, I know you're super busy. I know you've got literally RA60s that need to go all over the world. So I'll let you go, appreciate your time. Thank you. Cheers. Paul, who I'm about to go and see, his day job is data analytics. And he made the extraordinary decision to come down to the line, get trained up, and help with the additional production requirements of ventilators. Paul should be working around here. Here he is. Doing well, how I'm are you? I'm just going to keep my distance a little bit for obvious reasons. Sure. Uh, this is a very, very different working environment to where you were two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, they put a call you know, out in terms of like, hey, are there any salary people who would be willing to come out to our Madison facility and work in production um, so we can ramp up as quickly as possible? So um, when they did that, kind of was in a position, was able to help, and so volunteered. What was the process of getting to here? They put out the call about Monday. Um, Tuesday, they said, yes, we're going to do this. Was here Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., and we were in training Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then full time on the line kind of that following Monday. So been here about two weeks. So you were literally trained up in less than a week? Yep, yep. Train up in less than a week. Don't know the whole line, but I kind of know what I need to know for, for this particular testing station, right? So I can and, kind of do it completely. And who's training you up? Uh, all of our production associates. So you see a few of them around the floor. Um, you know, they've been doing this for 10, 15, 20 years plus, right? So so they took you under their wing and yep. actually told you everything you need to know. Yep, kind of tells you some of the trips and tricks, you know, different things and how do you troubleshoot some of the issues. But yeah, it was, it was good. As many of these as we can get off the line as soon as possible or we're potentially, you know, as another live save. So, um, you know, happy to kind of pitch in here for the next few weeks, um, you know, in terms of like kind of doing everything we can in terms of our COVID-19 response. And a couple adjustments at home, I would imagine kind of getting home a little later, sleeping a little longer. Um, you know, it's still good to kind of see the family during the day. Everybody's home now. Well, I know you got work to do, so uh, I'll let you get off. Yeah, I no, appreciate it. Okay. This is the way we say goodbye. Take care of yourself.